Shalom and welcome. Today is Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Israel Independence Day, Israel's 71st birthday. And this coming Shabbat, we read Parshat Kedoshim. Although in Israel, they're already on the following one, Emor. Now, what does it mean to be Kadosh, holy? I always thought it meant that someone or something that was holy was special, perhaps better than a person or thing that wasn't really not sure if I knew what the opposite of holy was. Perhaps it was not so special. In reality, the word kadosh or kodesh takes on a variety of meanings. When we bring in Shabbat, for example, which is the holy day of the week, we sanctify it with wine and by kindling lights. When Shabbat ends, we again light a candle and drink wine, blessing the one who mavdil ben kodesh lechol distinguishes between the holy and the mundane. In this case, the mundane refers to the six days of creation, the work week. Now, we can argue whether Shabbat being holy means it's better than the other days of the week, but that's not my point. Kodesh, holy, consecrated, really means set apart. Ritual objects are set apart to be used on certain appropriate occasions. Although I'm not talking about the good towels that no one was ever allowed to touch, or the china that won't be used until, I don't know, the Messiah comes. Three times in the opening verse of this week's Torah reading, we read a version of Kedoshim Tehiyu Ki Kadosh Ani Ani Adonai Elohechem You shall be holy, for I am holy. I am the Lord your God. God, often referred to as HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Holy One, blessed be He, is eternally and inherently holy. God is not a flesh and blood king. Now we mere mortals, however, are to become holy by performing the mitzvot that God has commanded us to perform and to refrain from engaging in poor behavior. The Parsha is full of ways for humans to become holy, to engage in godlike behavior, beginning with revering one's parents, keeping Shabbat, caring for the needy, and not worshiping idols, to name a few. To me, it can be summed up in Leviticus 19.18. V'ahavta l'reacha kamocha, love your fellow person as yourself. That's not always easy for a variety of reasons, which is a discussion for another time. But the reality is that although no one is perfect, we can still experience moments of holiness and know that God knows we're doing our best. It doesn't take much to experience these moments of holiness, as the Talmud tells us, based on the final verse of Psalm 17, even when a person gives a mere peruta, a very small denomination coin, to a poor person, he merits to receive the divine presence as it is stated As for me, I will behold your face through charity. I will be satisfied when I awake with your likeness. And that comes from Bavra Batra. May we all have the opportunity to experience these moments of holiness in our everyday lives. Shabbat Shalom.